Kike is still has left left position. I'm right, so we are on Kike's position. Of course, uh, maybe maybe Uke is too strong for you because if you are not the same category, you are inspiring or whatever. Maybe you lost some energy during previous fights, and he is too strong, and you are not able to escape from this position. Or either he already catched your sleeve, and you stay in this position. The, 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 the worst thing is just to go down, so you get penalized. And also from here you are open for an attack. And to, to be like this, also it's Shiro. So just try to... Um, I was really bad with Kenkaiwutsu position and I had to start adapting. And the one of the first thing I did is I lost this grip. So I lost the lapel and just grip behind. Here, when his, uh, I would say, back shovel, inside back shovel, something like that, this bone of your shoulder is located. So this is the best position to grip, either like this, like this, but also the judogi has some sort of shoes here. It's, it's a bit stronger, so it's, your hand just sorely adapts to this position. It's, it's really strong, and from this position, you are really strong to move your opponent, okay? Here, not so much. Here, you can only defend. But here, you also have some, some grip, a good grip, that you can also control your opponent and move it in, in direction, either it's backwards, either it's forwards, okay? So, from this position, I adopted and just catch this grip. And at first, of course, all, all the opponents were attacking Uchiman. And from here, because I really have a, a good hips, good good hip movement, flexible hips, I was able to to counter attack them with Gaeshi Uchimaka. So the movement, this movement goes when the Uke is attacking. Okay. Oh, I have to first. I have to put my behind a little backwards because if he comes underneath me, he's already showing me. So from here, there is no position for you to attack Aichi. First, you have to escape the first attack. So when, oh, here, you see, I, I put my uh, hips a bit in front and my, my hand uh, backwards. Also, my, my left arm doesn't stay in front. It's really important. If your arm goes uh, in front of you, then you are losing your balance. And either you will fall with Ken Ken Uchimata, which goes like this, okay? So, 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 and he's throwing you. So this is why it's very important to keep your elbow to your body. When he's attacking, just go up, keep your elbow here. And from here, it's a start of uh, Uchimata Geishi. So my arm is pulling his elbow towards his belly, toward his center of, of, of gravity. So here. And you see already, when I'm putting my arm, it's turning his upper body. Already this is turning his upper body. Then my right hand, which is gripping here, it's starting to push him down. Okay? So you are, you are doing, you are trying to, to turn his upper body like this. Okay? And this is a very good position to throw. <laughs> But the important thing is to have this grip and not to lose your arm. Mostly when, when your uke is really good in Uchumata, you can also start in this position and he will start just putting his leg inside and jumping and if he's really really good he will try to get your arm out. It's really dangerous. Okay, so at this time it's better to, to go out than to, to lose with him in this battle. When you start to do Uchimata Geishi, actually it's just a battle between you and Uke, who will get this position. You fell, you throw. You fell, you throw. Here in the middle, who will get who? <laughs> so, who's better in this position? The more you practice, the better you get. So, from this position, he is in the darkest position. If I stay like this, I have no chance, because my elbow is inside and he will turn me either way. You have to adopt, you go outside, you grip here and just you wait. The, the only important thing is this, his elbow. 
When his elbow is here, he cannot show me the Kumak. And then when he starts to swing with the leg, I go inside and then just turn. Okay, again. <laughs> so when he attacks first, you block and then up. Jump with it. Okay, but this happens to me all the time. Afterwards, when I was standing and trying to, to catch your opponent doing the uchimata and blocking the first, the first attack, uh, mostly the Japanese and the Korean fighters, which are maybe better in this position, got the feeling that I was waiting for them to attack uchimata. And they realized it, that I'm waiting, and they didn't attack Uchimata, and they attacked either with Haragoshi or Osotoga. And of course, if you are standing in this position, <laughs> you are very open to, to falling, either on this side or on this side. So, after a few bad training sessions, I realized that it's really bad it, where, where, where I adopted from this position to this position because I'm still falling. So at that time I started to, to create uh, my own uh, Uchimata Geishi. So I didn't wait for opponent to attack with Uchimata. I attacked him. I attacked him in this position while he is, he is still waiting, okay? I just went inside with my uh, right leg. So I, I get his leg inside of him and trying to to rotate also his legs. When he came in this position, then I had the uh, um, best position to throw. Okay? If I missed attack from Uchimata, then my, my Beishi was sometimes very weak. But when I first, when I was first to attack with Beishi, then I, I had the better position. Because for good Gaeshi, his behind has to be outside, okay? If he is good and he can uh, put his body downwards and come inside with his bottom, then he is lo losing my grip, okay? It's, it's easy. If he is here, he doesn't have the power. If he is here, he has all the power in the hip because, look, only with my leg, I'm already lifting him up for 10-15 centimeters. So, in this position, when Uke was really strong, I just adapted the, the I lost the grip of the lapel, grip behind, and I was the first one to attack. And this was also good because I sort of grip, gripped him like a koala bear. Oh, okay, his elbow was inside, my arm was here, and I was able to rotate his upper body and what was more important was my leg. My leg had to do its job, its job. So, not only to grip the opponent's leg, but also to lift it up. And in this position, while I'm uh, holding his leg, I'm constantly lifting his leg up for him to lose the balance. Okay. okay. So, if Uke is attacking the first step and I have to block the attack, mostly my arms were working when I was doing Geishi. My leg came in in the last arm of the throw. But if I was attacking, I started with the attack and my leg went inside the first one. Okay? And also, I didn't need to wait because if Uke was very fast, and he was able to go underneath me, he threw me with Uchimata, okay? But here, when I'm the first one, and the first one attacking, I have the dominant position and I can throw. 